Hi, Gemini, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of the 24th to the 30th of January 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. And keep in mind, as always, this is a general weekly read. Uh, so just take what resonates and don't stress over what doesn't. Don't forget to stick with me till the very end of this reading to get an answer to your yes or no question. All right. The overall message for you, Gemini, for the week Missing you every day, missing you every day, all right? And the song of the week for you, chosen on Shuffle by Spirit, Come Home to Me by Harper Blinn. Come Home to Me by Harper Blinn. I'll leave that down below in the description box for you to listen to. Let's aim on down and pull some cards. We're going to begin by pulling a message or two from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck. I just heard, why is it that I care so much? That's not for every single one of you Geminis drawn to this reading, but it's definitely relevant to an extent. For Gemini to begin this uh, weekly read for the week of the 24th to the 30th of January. Your knowledge will be key this week for more than one reason, as you guide the way for yourself and inspire others. It's up to you whether you inspire people for the right reasons or the wrong. For Gemini. Solitude and silence, peace prevails is a message for you at the bottom of the deck. We're going to put this one back. Bear with me. I also just heard drop the burdens as we have fogged in. Go slow, take time. As things feel a bit foggy this week, as you're pushed to remember, or you feel as if you can't stop thinking about a specific somebody, or even multiple people, whether that's somebody who passed away, an ex, uh, a friend that no longer is in your life, or somebody who's simply at a physical distance from you, just remember that it's a week where things become a lot easier moving forward, and you gain a lot of closure or clarity, or a combination of both. But it's, as you feel a bit foggy, as you feel a bit, uh, a little bit all over the place, just try to slow it down and take your time. There's no need to rush as you may feel the energy in the air. It feels a bit rushed, okay, for one reason or another. It could have to do with one specific person. But we also have joy and delight. Open your heart to joy, all right? And I love that we have an angel here to touch base upon your protection, your guidance, but also specifically for those of you who, uh, who are here to hear about somebody who is no longer with you in this physical realm. Um, they do watch after you, to say the very least. But it's a week where you're pushed to enjoy yourself a little bit. But remembering that you can do so while slowing it down, you'll feel this sort of angelic presence about you and around you as you're pushed to open your heart to a level of joy that you truly deserve at the end of the day, at the end of the week. Okay, let's pull the main part of the reading from the Light Series deck. Even within your solitude this week, you won't feel alone. And that's because of who uh, is watching over you. For some of you, many. We have another owl here. I'm seeing a lot of owls in this reading. All right. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles to begin. Interesting. With work, you'll distract. With work, you'll feel a level of uh, control. You'll continue with the Seven of Pentacles to water what you've been growing, what you feel is necessary for you to move towards um, completion and success in one way, shape, or form. Watch the tension in your body. As my feet are on the tip of my toes, you're going to find yourself feeling a little bit on edge at certain points. Not every spiritual presence is positive but the majority of which for you drawn to this reading is watching over you. It outweighs the negatives. The positives outweigh the negatives. That's an overall message throughout the week, not just when it comes to your spiritual presence. Anyways, keep watering, keep giving what you want to grow sunlight, and you'll see it prevail as you take things or push to take things step by step with a seven and eight, with the pentacles being the first two cards coming out for the tarot, you're pushed to ground yourself, to think about that balance and necessary grounding 
and uh, to think about the roots that you've uh, implanted, you've built uh, up until this point, <clears throat> you're going to find yourself, I'm getting that foggy energy, just that little bit of um, unclearness in the air uh, or just within you as things again do feel a bit pressured or just a bit odd for one reason, for one reason or another. But the death and rebirth card in the nine of pentacles, excuse me, reaching for your independence to go from seven to eight to nine. Um, look up that angel number meaning 789. But with the nine of wands, rather, you're feeling a bit wounded, a bit burnt out, a bit, um, just a bit depleted. All right. And you're feeling a bit defensive all the meanwhile, just feeling like you just don't know how to move forward without somebody or how, why has everything happened the way it's happened? That's a question you'll ask yourself or just will be feeling uh, present throughout this week. You'll find yourself gaining conclusions and clarity once again. Have patience as you long for more when it comes to the work you're producing. Though you'll long for more when it comes to the efforts you've been putting forth. Some of you may even find yourself thinking randomly about traveling or moving to a different location. That's purposeful. Uh, you're being pushed by Spirit and the Universe to expand your horizons in a lot of ways as you're trying to relight that fire within throughout the week while slowing it down. It's a weird combination and balance, but it is a week where you feel a bit burnt out once again due to all the work you've been putting in. And I mean, who wouldn't? Because it doesn't feel like it's been minimal, okay? Even if it is in the eyes of others, it doesn't matter what other people think. Uh, you will find that you just want someone to come back to you this week in a lot of ways. You may feel as if that's what's missing, but Spirit in the Universe is going to remind you that's not what's missing. You need the closure, the clarity, and just remembering that they're with you. And if it's an ex, they're not with you, okay? You may feel energetically tied to them, but it's a week where you will be reminded to move towards the new, okay? And that if it's a spiritual presence that is still with you, right? Somebody who passed away, they're going to come with you towards the new, the fresh, towards what you deserve to succeed at moving forward. And they're so damn proud of you when it comes to what you've been working towards. I just heard you're longing for more, and that's a beautiful thing. With the Page of Pentacles being pushed to take a fresh perspective on your money, to think about a financial investment on traveling for a lot of you, to, with the Queen of Cups, put your hands up, and go with the flow. Go with the flow. There's no need to, to feel the need to force things this week. As you feel this death and rebirth that you're going through, that your life is experiencing, it's a bit heavy at times. But for whatever reason, you do feel a bit angelic. It's the assistance you're receiving. You need to understand that you're at times putting too much pressure on what you're building. All right, And being reminded that it's going to be successful this week will allow for you to put your hands up and just go with the flow as certain emotions come to be to teach you something to help you grow to help you move forward and just remember those emotions are coming back or coming to be to the surface for you to sit in them and uh take them to a place they shouldn't all right um or to help allow them to take you to a place they shouldn't with the chariot it's a week where you're pushed to stay motivated to hop on that chariot and balance things out for you and your loved ones, if that's the case. To remember that your work is taking you places, your business, your career in general. If it's a job change you're looking, it's on the horizon. Stay on that chariot of motivation as things feel a bit more colorful towards the weekend. All right? With the Knight of Cups, for some of you, for those of you looking to missing your ex, you know, feeling the need to get over them, or just feeling like they should come back. Someone new is coming in soon enough and you will find that uh, moving on is 10 times easier with that understanding, with that clarity. Uh, it's like almost for some of you, you don't need to know more about the past. You just need to understand and get that confirmation that someone new is coming in. And like that, that's the closure you needed. Uh, you needed, that's the clarity you needed to move right along, to energetically uh, tie things up in that sense. But it's you, a lot of you feeling very passionate at the very least, very creative, finding a glow come to be, a magical feeling come to be when you work on your project, your business, or you stay up late 
thinking about or planning for what you want to st strategically move towards. Excuse me as I struggle to spit that one out. I just heard if you're spiritually messed with, um, like I am, just hang in there, all right? It doesn't mean you don't have positive guidance or support angels around you. With the Nine of Swords, uh, you will find the sleep cycle for you this week is a little bit different. You may find yourself sleeping at different hours, a level of stress coming to be because of certain energies you're dealing with, a level of pressure in the air once again, or just certain dreams. You'll get through it, okay? Um, a need to sleep when you can, and that might be why you're finding your sleep altering when it comes to timing. But all the meanwhile, it's just, if you can't sleep in the middle of the night, then take a nap in the middle of the day when you can. All right? Plain and simple, you owe it to yourself. And a push to release that burden you've been holding within, you know, that's weighing you down when it comes to missing someone so bad, uh, feeling as if things didn't go perfectly because of you. If that's the case, let that go. You owe it to yourself to feel this release, right? Let go of us. what's not benefiting you financially as well this week when it comes to your habits. Uh, if you feel a need to focus on what's not working so much, or you feel a bit pessimistic at certain points this week, you'll find this uh, release when it comes to uh, your emotions coming to be. And I know it's hard to believe, but you will, okay? And all the meanwhile, it's a very spiritually guided week where you receive a better understanding of how things are about to proceed on who you're going to meet moving forward or make the best set of certain connections. And you'll understand why this is a true week where you're pushed to spend time within your own energy as you do miss this individual, absolutely. But you'll understand why moving forward, it's going to be a lot easier to accept their spiritual presence or let go of the past altogether and move towards the new. All right. We're going to pull one more before we move on to the Find Your Happy deck with the Two of Cups. There's a connection on, on the horizon or in your life at this time who will help you make the best out of certain difficulties, out of missing this individual. Bear with that noise from the Find Your Happy deck for Gemini. Instead of focusing on the anger, I focus on healing the pain. I learn the way on the way, and everything isn't happening to me. It's happening for me. All right? Let's uh, answer your question real quick. Bear with me as my heart is racing. Oh, I just heard you'll get through this. You'll get through this. For Gemini. The answer to your question, Gemini, is no. No, okay? So if this reading was truly helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. To book a personal reading, you'll see the options down below. Just shoot me an email. Hoping you have the most amazing week. Sending you so much love and light, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Gemini.